everyone, welcome to Shaping Memories and welcome to the Daily Chronicles. So today is April 22nd and today is Earth Day. Yes, today is Earth Day. We all celebrate Earth Day here. So, why do we call Earth Mother Earth? Have you ever thought about it? Many cultures refer to Earth and nature as mother due to its life-giving qualities. Mothers care, protect, and feed their young. So, today is Earth Day. I hope you are celebrating it somewhere and doing, I don't know, earthly, protective, caring, nurturing things. So, let's get into our first article. Mystery to me. Now, I found this to be quite a mystery. Peru's Nazca lines were already one of the world's most confounding mysteries. But things got even more mysterious when researchers discovered 168 more designs at the end of 2022. Most designs, figures representing humans and animals like slakes, snakes, llamas, and whales, are huge figures carved into the Peruvian desert and can only be seen from the sky. The new discoveries, though, are smaller and can be seen from the ground. While researchers keep finding new figures, they still have no idea what they were made for. So, it's one of those mysteries that keep going and going and apparently keep giving and giving. So, we'll have to see how that turns out. All right, I have a few little fun things to do today. I have a when was I, or when was it, not was I, when was it. So I'm looking for a year, so please play along, either with your caregiver or your family, your friends, or if you're watching this by yourself, think about it. It's a thinking thing. I'm gonna give you a little paragraph. All these things happened in that one year. What year was it? So here we go. It was during this year that basketball superstar Michael Jordan retired for the first time, and hockey legend Wayne Gretzky played in his last game Boris Yeltsin resigned as president of Russia, leaving leadership to Vladimir Putin, and Napstar, Napstar, the internet's free music downloading service was created. When was it? What year was that? Well, I'll give you the answer. Just think about it. I'll give you the answer in just a minute. All right, let's find out what happened on this year, this day, many years back. All right, so April 22nd. On this day in 1889, some 50,000 home seekers rode or ran to claim land in the Oklahoma land rush. On this date in 1970, Earth Day, an event encouraging public awareness of the world's environmental problems was celebrated for the first time, Earth Day. I wanna add also on this date in 1970, my other very good friend, Betsy Walker was born. Um, so happy birthday to her. And her mom always told us that that Betsy was born on Earth Day. So and she actually was. The year, the day, the year, everything that day. So happy birthday to her. Also on this date, in, on April 20th, 2nd, in 1989, archeologists unearthed a 2000 year old mummy in a gold covered coffin in the Egyptian oasis. She was wrapped in linen and dried flowers and had a child beside her. So all those things happened on this day many years back. All right, so what year was it? What year was that Michael Jordan retired for the first time? Um, Wayne Gretzky played in his last hockey game. What else was there? Uh, uh, Vladimir Putin became the new president of Russia. And what else was there? Napster, the internet free music was created. What year was that? Well, if you had said 1999, you would be correct. Good job, if not, now you know, we learn something here every day. All right, we also always celebrate. Oh, I do have one other thing for you. I have a thinktionary. This is where we give you a word and two definitions and think about it, which one is it? Is it A or B? So the word is frisson, 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 F-R-I-S-S-O-N, frisson. So does that mean to slide or fall at a high and uncontrollable speed? Or does it mean a sudden strong feeling or sensation as of fear or excitement? Which definition is correct? Well, 
we will find out in a minute. So happy birthday. We always celebrate happy birthday. So we already celebrated Betsy Nell Walker's birthday, my friend, but let's celebrate somebody who could be an artist, mathematician, musician, singer, songwriter, scientist, we never know. Well today, happy birthday to Vernon Johns. He lived from 1892 to 1965. He was an American minister, an influential leader in civil rights movement. Born in Darlington Heights, Virginia, he was educated at the University of Chicago, Oberlin College, and Boynton Academic and Bible Institute. He served as a pastor of the Dexter Avenue Baptist Church in Montgomery, Alabama from 1947 to 1952. His successor in the role was Martin Luther King Jr. Johns was a trailblazing proponent of taking action against injustice and spoke out about the importance of not remaining silent. So he does have our quote of the day and the quote is, if you see a good fight, get in it. So happy birthday to Vernon Jones. And I agree with that. If you see a good fight, get in it. Make sure it's the fight you want to fight though. So. All right, uh, back to that dictionary. Kristen, which one was it, A or B? Well, if you had said B, you would be correct. A sudden, strong feeling or sensation as of fear or excitement. So the way that you would use it in a sentence is, during the seance, the knock at the door gave me a frisson of horror. So. That's how you would use that word. Hopefully, if you've never used that word before, I introduced you to a new word. Try to use it today or someday soon in your vocabulary. All right, I hope you all have a great day. I enjoy being here with you every day. And I will be back on the 24th, and I will see you then. Till then, please stay safe, healthy, but above all, take care.